Hi there, this is Lisa. Um, I've been off the grid for several months. Um, only a couple of people who are really close to me know that I've had some serious health issues. And the doctors aren't even 100% certain. It started in September. I could have said it started a whole lot longer. It's just been a very, very rough couple of years, starting with um, my mother-in-law passed away, and then having the shingles, and then my grandbaby being born, and my daddy having a stroke, and passing away within just a couple of weeks. And um, I was still rolling blow in business-wise, and um, I had this day where I just kind of felt something inside of me said that I wasn't supposed to be going into the direction that I was possibly going to be going into business-wise. It wasn't like there was anything wrong. It just, I don't know. So anyway, um, I just kind of said a little quick little prayer and just said, you know, God, if I'm doing something wrong, forgive me. Kind of weird. Um, so I left that day and didn't sign any contracts and um, heading... I was downtown Houston and heading to the 59 and um, a young man ran a red light and spun my car around and I had a tear in my neck and my wrist and my ankle, but I didn't let that slow me down. But it was enough for me to say, okay, I get it. I get it, God. Um, shortly after my um, granddaughter was born a few months later, my son and daughter-in-law both got laid off. She got laid off right before the baby was born and he got laid off right after the baby was born. And um, so they moved in with us, and that little girl was such a delight. But it's definitely a lot of work. It's you're running a business, and you're, you know, you've got a lot of changes in your household. And so I just kept moving and kept going and kept hustling. Work was good, and keeping it busy, kept my son busy. And um, somewhere in September of last year, I was getting out of my car when I got home from a client's house and I realized I couldn't walk. I mean, literally couldn't walk. And so within a few days I was in a wheelchair and I um, went to see a doctor. They um, put me on um, steroids. Well, the interesting, before I went to that doctor, I went to a doctor who said, oh, well, you know, just probably pulled, you know, your sciatic nerve. And um, we were due to go on a cruise because I knew my body was at a point where I needed a break. Mentally, I needed a break. And the whole cruise was spent in bed. I, I couldn't even sit up. I couldn't roll over on my, on my own. It, it was horrible. I was very scared. And so um, I went to see a rheumatologist, and, you know, she put me on prednisone a lot, um, 30 milligrams in a day, 10, 30 times a day. And a lot of research and sending me the different specialists to find out what was going on. And um, nothing really definitive. And I landed a trip at a hospital. And my fingers developed what they call, well, first of all, they said, well, I possibly had inflammatory arthritis or maybe I had an autoimmune. And a lot could have gone back to some illnesses and things that happened um, when I was a child and a teenager that the doctors in New Orleans didn't take care of. So then I developed these Raynaud syndrome, which fingertips are cold, and then there was these splinter hemorrhages, which kind of freaked my doctor out because she's like, well, you know, what's happening? And then ulcers, and then I'm like, okay, so we got a problem because my fingers are looking infected. Now these two or three here, the little scabs went away, but they're still very, very tender. And I got the cast off um, last week. Um, I almost lost my fingers with infection. Interesting enough, um, the infection disease doctor said, oh, it's not an infection, you know, and yeah, right. So before the things happened to my hands where I couldn't do anything, um, I did a lot of writing and planning because I thought, well, you know, if my days of hands-on organizing are coming to a limit, I'm writing my third book. You know, my first book, My Life is a Mess, Organizing 101, which is organizing tips Uncluttered, discovering strength and purpose in the chaos of life is more about how our external world is a reflection of what's going on inside. So this third book called Brand New Perspectives, I kind of came to a halt on writing it. And I'm reading all these, I must have read, and I blogged it, all these books. I was reading all these books and making my business plans and, and thinking, okay, let me just make sure my spiritual life is in order. So when everything started to happen with my fingers, oh my gosh, this had to be the worst thing in the world because I am, I do have OCD. It's 
controlled. People think I'm joking. But I love wiping things down, keeping things clean, the, the sink clean and stuff like that. And, um, so for, and also an Italian woman. So for something like this to happen was very, very traumatic to me that I, I can't do what I used to do at all. I can't hardly open up a jar because of the pain and everything. And so I've had these really serious um, depression days and just kind of really looking inward and talking to God and saying, you know, what's my purpose in life? What am I going to do? You know, my whole life I, st I was a stay-at-home mama and growing up, you know, told what I'd never be and what I could never do. And to have lived this fabulous 12 years as an organizer, organizing, you know, athletes and TV personalities and, and, and um, elected officials, it was just way cool. And just the things that I got to do and the galas and I'm like, this is awesome. I mean, really, really awesome. And, um, and I guess I'm having this talk because there's a lot out there who it's what is our self-worth? Um, how are we making a difference and how are we important? And I still do public speaking and training, you know, for like um, time management and coaching and consulting. And um, to tell you the truth, I don't know what next year is going to look like business-wise or, you know, what I'm really going to be doing with myself. All I know is that in this season right now, it's just reflection time and what I can do and say to encourage others and how I can really have a time of rest. Maybe this is just all about resting for me. So I want to encourage those out there because trust me, I've had very, very dark days when the pain just feels unbearable or you can't sleep or you've been taking too many pain medicines and you can't wake up and you just feel like, is there going to be a hope? And so what I'm here to say is there is a hope. There really is. And um, make sure you stay close to family and friends. If there's things you haven't gotten right, because I know that when my daddy passed, um, the relationship was rough. But I was glad that I was able to, before he died, to make things right. But even with my husband and my children and stuff and some friends, um, even if you're not feeling good, send a text message to someone to tell me you love them. Just do little things. And, and you know those people in your life that you can say what's going on, but you want to keep that kind of close and tight. Um, because you'll notice I didn't really go there on Facebook about this and only a handful of people even know the extent of what's going on. So I want to encourage you. Um, I'll have my um, contact information in the description down here. So if you want to reach out and um, say hi, or if you need a little word of encouragement, I'd love to even pray for you. Oh, also, you notice I am um, rocking. I'm starting to rock the gray hair. Yep. See, those young girls, they're paying a lot of money to do this, and mine's naturally. Um, with all that was going on medically, I decided that, well, the doctor said it was also good not to have chemicals, okay? So it's like, all right, good. And um, and I'm in my little pajamas, which is really just a cute little t-shirt and some um, comfy pants and stuff. And um, But this sweater I have is a little bit of a story here. It's got little frayed edges, and most people would say, well, you know, why don't you buy a new one? Well, my best friend in the whole wide world, she got, um, she did get killed, um, Deborah Schaefer, right after Hurricane Katrina when she was returning home. And so this is one of the um, items I bought with her shopping, because her and I were shopping weddings and stuff. So um, I don't wear it in public, but it's perfect as a bed coat, bed sweater, for lack of a better word. But anyway, I just want to encourage you and just find that little piece of joy, that thing that you love. And um, I love you, and I'll talk to y'all as I'm going through my recovery. Tomorrow, see the doctor. Bye.